Hello, I'm Adam from First Man Photography and today we're going to look at how to edit your landscape photographs to give them a really natural and dramatic feel. Over the last few days I've been exploring Finland inside the Arctic Circle. It's been a, a great trip. I hired a camper van to get me up there and spent a few days just exploring that landscape which is very, very impressive. Uh, while I was up there I managed to take a few photographs of, of the landscape there including a couple of mountains and that are right on the Norwegian border. Uh, and very exciting it was as well. So I want to take you through how I use the loop deck to edit my photographs. Normally editing or post-processing is a very technical exercise with the mouse and the sliders and by introducing the loop deck into my workflow, it's allowed me to become much more artistic in the post-processing stage. Because the, the way the controls are laid out, it feels very natural. I can use those controls without taking my eyes off the image. And it just creates a much more intimate feel between myself and my work, which just lets me post-process in a way that just feels much more artistic and much more satisfying at the end of it. So if we go into the computer, this is the image that I took. This is uh, a mountain called Sana, I think, if my, if my pronunciation is correct. But it sort of incorporates the, the landscape quite nicely, and I think it represents my trip to Finland really nicely as well. So with, that, with the water and then the ice, which is still frozen even in the middle of May, uh, we then have some of these trees that sort of silver birch, which really represents the area because there's so many trees in that area. So I wanted to get some of that in. Then that mountain, which is shrouded in cloud. I'm glad it was shrouded in cloud as well because when that cloud cleared the next day, there was a phone mast on top of the mountain. So sort of being a type of photographer that tries to get really natural images, that cloud is really working for me. What I will normally do when I start post-processing is to just to come down and just introduce the lens corrections. Uh, I'm using a Canon lens here. I'm just going to reduce the vignette and I don't really need the distortion correction either. Uh, so that's done and then I can come across to the loop deck and just start to post-process. So I think that at the, the moment the exposure is looking okay. I'm just going to start by adding in a little bit of contrast to just introduce that, probably just to about 23 there. And then I'm going to start by bringing the highlights down as well, which is something I normally do. Highlights down and the shadows up just to introduce a bit more uh, or to get more of that detail out of the foreground there. I'm then going to bring in the, uh, a graduated filter and just drag that down and hold that there. Probably go a little bit further than that. And then back over to the loop deck and I can bring the exposure down on that sky to really bring the drama into the image because there was a lot of detail in that cloud that I could see at the time. When I'm post-processing my images, I'm looking to match what I saw at the time with the way the scene made me feel. And that's what I'm talking about with the loop deck. It just makes that a more artistic process as well. So just drag that down. I'll drag the highlights down a bit as well, just to bring a bit more of that detail out. And then I want to introduce just a little bit of dehaze to further that feel as well. That's probably gone a bit too far. Let's just back it up to about there. So I'm done with the graduated filter and then let's go through the rest of it. So I want to use the histogram at the top right there and just increase the white till I get true white in there like that and then drag the blacks down as well just so I've got the full range of, of tones in my image. Uh, I'm just going to increase the clarity just a small amount and then that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's just have a look at the white balance with the temperature. Just that looks about right. One of the things I really love about the loop deck is the way the controls are laid out is that I can control two controls at once, which you obviously can't do with a mouse and the sliders. That works really well for temperature and tint, but also for vibrance and saturation. So I will normally add vibrance and saturation to an image, but with the loop deck, I can do that with one hand and just introduce both at the same time whilst keeping my eyes on the image to get to exactly where I want to be. I think that, let's go a little bit further, and that is looking pretty good. Editing landscape photography doesn't have to be complicated, and introducing the Loop Deck Plus into my workflow 
has made that, has increased that efficiency and that simplicity. And it just gives me a much more artistic feel to editing my landscape photography.